So them guys are on here back with a banger. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to head into town, Birmingham city centre, to try out a place that uh, closed recently, but it's now reopened in Grand Central. The place is called Shokupan. It was called uh, Grub Sop, I think, before. And they serve Japanese sandos, which, uh, yeah, super delicious, super amazing. It's got a nice, like, fluffy bread. But, yeah, enough talking. Let's head into town. Right guys, uh, at Grand Central, I can't find this place, I don't know if it's open, apparently it opened on the 4th of October and it's now the 6th, so I don't know, we're going to have a look around, if not we're going to head somewhere else. So the assumption is Shakupan isn't open, so we're going to head to one of my favourite places, it's more on the healthier side and it serves uh, poke. So I've just made it to uh, Koala Poke, which is on in the Great Western Arcade, and it's also opposite Snow Hill on Colmore Road. So it's in a yeah, bang in the city centre. Great location. We've been here before actually, and we thought we'd come here because it does like more healthier options. Because at the moment, everything that we've been posting in the majority is like burgers, fast food, pizza, all that kinds of stuff. So this is a uh, yeah, we're, we're being uh, sensible. But first off, we've gone for the salmon wrap. Last time I came here, these guys didn't do wraps, but they've got like a cooked salmon wrap with a load of stuff in there. Looks pretty, well, obviously it looks healthy. I think there's mango in there too, and some onions and maybe a bit of guacamole too. Mmm. Mmm. That's quite, yeah, very nice, very, obviously natural. Tasting, taste of the guacamole. The salmon is cooked, but it's not too strong. And then there's a nice sweetness from the mango and the sauce too. And it's very unique in a way because you get all these different textures. Like the cabbage and the onions is very, like obviously crisp. But then like the the salmon and the fruit and the guacamole just all melts in your mouth. And then the package of the wrap just holds it all together. It's yeah, pretty good. A pretty good option if you don't want to have a normal sandwich. Now, the other thing these guys didn't do last time I come were nachos. And these are the truffle chicken nachos. And if I didn't mention, obviously, uh, poke is like a raw fish dish that's got a rice base, but we'll get to that afterwards. But these guys also serve chicken, and the chicken here is halal, which is a plus. <laughs> so we've gone for the truffle, uh, truffle chicken nachos. And there's, yeah, so much going on here. There's a good amount of spice, good amount of chicken, the guacamole. I don't think there's any cheese on here. I'm gonna get a, yeah, hefty, hefty first nacho in there. Really nice truffle flavor. Nachos are good quality too. I don't, I wouldn't assume that they make them here. Maybe they do, but. Really nice and corny. The highlight for me is the uh, the truffle mayo. Just gives it a really nice, really nice flavour. And it's very subtle too. It's not like an overpowering truffle. Even though I do like overpowering truffle, these nachos highly recommended. Last but not least, we've got Sabrina in the shot there because. She's had a bit of this already, but this is the custom made Sabrine poke. <laughs> and it's got a load of uh, load of mango, load of carrots, some cu some uh, pickled cucumber, edamame, and then uh, Sabrine's not too keen on like raw fish, so these guys offer some cooked prawns or shrimp or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, so the poke bowl is sort of like a bowl of rice and it's usually like a a stick, not a sticky type rice, but more like a sushi type rice, the, the type that holds together. And then you just top it with all of that, all, your, all of the toppings. You can choose what rice you want. And I went for white sushi rice, that was definitely sushi rice, but mm. generally. Yeah, generally, get, generally yeah. Rice, so from what Sabrina was saying, you can get your own base here, so it doesn't have to be the traditional like sushi rice, but that's what's authentic, that's what's good. It's probably westernised a bit more because the authentic one that you get from Hawaii, so that's where it's from, is a lot more plain and simple and natural, whereas here there's like a lot more sauces and things going on. 
But in the grand scheme of things, it's a lot more healthier than eating burgers and fried chicken and all that stuff. So I'm going to try and get a bit of everything in here. A bit of mango, a bit of prawn, and some of that pickled pickled cucumber too. Yeah, that's a good, good spoonful of uh, stuff. Anyway. Mm, that's sweet. Tiny bit of spice. Rice is just like really nice and like, just, like sushi rice is just well done. Mm. There's a bit of ginger in there as well. That gives a, another part of flavours, but yeah. This is a, yeah, one, one re really well done sushi bowl, I might say. Yeah, I probably would have preferred it with like the raw fish rather than the prawns, but still pretty good. And on that note, it works really well with people who don't like raw fish, so. Sort of like a win-win here. Yeah, we're gonna tuck in, possibly get dessert after. So I forgot to mention, this place is relatively small. There is outside seating, but to me it's more of like a, you come in, get your bowl, get your wrap and go. It's a very, that type of place, people coming in and out, in and out, in and out. But there is seating if you want it, but just be mindful that there's not loads of it. If I didn't mention these guys also serve like brownies and dessert items, but we're gonna keep it healthy and we're gonna get a, a acai bowl. So guys, to finish it off, we're going for the acai bowl. As you can see, as you can Sabrine, as you can see, Sabrine has already eaten into this. I let her pick it. I'm being very nice today. So she's chosen. Uh, I think it's almond nuts. Is it yeah, almond? Mixed nuts. Ah, mixed nuts, uh, banana, <clears throat> and then like chocolate flakes, and then it's on a bed of uh, yeah acai. Get a bit of the uh, the nuts and chocolate. Oh, of course, the uh, acai as well. Mmm. That's so refreshing. And the chocolate isn't overly sweet. This is so good, actually. I think if I... If I had a healthy dessert that I liked, I think this, this would definitely be the one. I need to try a bit of the... Uh, the banana too because it looks like it's been sort of like not roasted but it's got a little caramelization glaze on it mm. that absolutely slaps but for me this is just like a yeah, perfect healthy dessert and the acai is almost like ice cream because it's been frozen but it's just pure natural fruit incredible we're going to tuck in because this is absolutely banging. So guys, that's gonna call it a video. Koala Poco's there, Snow Hill, yeah, just behind me, but smashed in place. And for the price, it's not bad either. Like, we get burgers for the same price, so you can eat healthy, and it's not overly expensive either. But yeah, check out Koala Poco if you're in town, and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. So then.